Hi everybody, happy full moon. This is Catherine with Vivacious Dish and I am excited to get to meditate with you today. We are in the midst of an incredibly powerful time and if you're like me, you've probably been feeling the intensity of this full moon cycle. It's a full lunar eclipse happening today. So this energy right now is all about playing with the light and dark. And for many of us, we might have been feeling over the past couple days or even the past month with the, the first eclipse that happened earlier. So we are in the midst of an eclipse cycle. This is today marks the second of three consecutive eclipses over the course of a two month period. So eclipses are a lot about shadow work. So, so we're seeing things resurface, some dark aspects of ourselves or maybe old wounds or things that make us uncomfortable, that type of energy, a lot of that's resurfacing right now. And the point of all of this is not to make us feel uncomfortable or bad, but to give us the opportunity to see with more clarity the things that might still be causing us to feel resistance or tension in our lives, and then to do the work to transmute and transform those energies um, so that we can move forward in a more powerful way. And this full moon falls in the sign of Aquarius, and Aquarius is all about doing work for the greater good. So the opportunity here as we connect and recognize our shadows and work to cultivate more peace and letting go and releasing past stories is that we're going to be able to then walk forward into the future with more capacity, with more fullness, with more of our light pouring out and shining through so that we can help do the good work that we all need as a collective to advance and accelerate and to live our best lives. So as much as this might be a really uncomfortable time, as things are surfacing in these old stories, it's also a really valuable time because if we commit to ourselves and we commit to each other and to the greater good, to looking at these shadows and doing this work now, we're creating an opportunity to move forward in a really powerful way. And if you've been watching these meditation videos, I do them with each full moon and new moon for a while, you'll know that just recently we kind of transitioned into this whole new cycle of evolutionary growth. And so the next seven years, which just started a couple months ago, is all about connection to the earth and helping to cultivate um, ourselves as stewards of Mother Earth and just to be reminded of our ability to work in harmony with the earth and to help to create healthier pathways for all of us moving forward. So this work that I do is so connected to that and I know for so many of us we're hearing the call, we're feeling the call to, to walk and move forward with more awareness towards our impact on the environment, whether that's through plastic free efforts or eating more healthy foods that help to nourish our bodies and create this platform and foundation for doing good out in the world. All these sorts of things, a lot of this is coming up for so many of us. We, we are inspired and want to take our health into our own hands. So know that even with this eclipse season as old wounds or past patterns or pains are coming up, that it's all part of alignment with this greater purpose and that as we allow ourselves to be more in tune and in harmony with the ebbs and flows of these cycles, uh, we're going to be able to show up and do, do the good work and live our purpose. So with all that in mind, I want to focus today's meditation on playing with our shadows. So shadow work and our shadow selves. So this is shadow meaning that parts of ourselves that we might not necessarily see whether we choose to try to not see it because it makes us uncomfortable or sometimes we can literally just be blind to our shadows. We're going about our day-to-day -day life, we're doing the things, we have our practices to live in alignment and harmony, but then these shadows creep up and we're like, ooh, that's kind of creepy or I didn't really want to look at that or I'd forgotten that that was there. Um, it can be a little spooky or very uncomfortable, but the, the value and the joy of this is that when we allow ourselves to dance, that our shadows actually have really powerful lessons for us. And so we can connect to our shadows and ask for wisdom and guidance on how we can better love and appreciate all aspects of ourselves, both the things that we perceive as good and then these things, these shadows that we perceive as bad. But in fact, it's really just about the balance of the yin and the yang, the the masculine, the feminine, the dark and the light that is part of all of us 
And when we start to understand our shadows, we can actually use them as tools in our toolkit to help us to move through challenges in our lives and allow us then to be stronger, more resilient, and just more ready as human beings to face everything that we come up against in life. So uh, with that in mind, today's meditation will be about harvesting the lessons of our shadows and just to cultivating more harmony and balance um, with the light and dark. So I invite you just to take a couple deep breaths now, allow yourself to drop in and connect with yourself. The beautiful, powerful, full moon energy. It's been a potent moon. The eclipse itself will be happening later today in the evening time. So it's good to do this meditation now to allow ourselves to be prepared and ready to receive the, the power of that energy and, and the aspects of the light and dark overlapping as the sun and moon cross, cross paths with that eclipse. So just ground yourself, <sighs> become present and aware of any energies that are coming up for you right now. If you've been feeling any specific aspects just allow those to be in your awareness now. And I want you to reflect on something specific that you might be feeling or have noticed in the last couple days or the last couple weeks around an aspect of yourself that maybe isn't your favorite aspect of yourself. So I'm going to focus on the feeling of not doing enough, that I have to do more to be able to accomplish more and just feeling perfectionistic and exhausted at times with this notion of doing more, that my worth, my self-worth comes from doing rather than being. So that shadow's come up for me strongly the last couple days and maybe you resonate with that or maybe you're seeing shadows for yourself around ego or self-love or the ability to call in abundance or alignment with your purpose and passion, whatever is coming through for you, just pick one. And you can actually do this practice for many, but let's focus right now today on one shadow that's really potent and strong for us. So as you hold that shadow or the awareness of that shadow in your mind's eye, I invite you to let your body be carried to a beautiful, beautiful clearing out in the woods. And it's just coming up upon the dusk hours. So the light of the sun of the day is just starting to fade as it drops behind the final mountains and tree line. And as the day starts to shift into night, you're actually gonna light a fire. There's a beautiful stone fire circle in the center of this clearing clearing itself as a big open meadow surrounded by big, tall, wise pine trees. And these pine trees carry the wisdom of your ancestors, so they're actually holding space for this beautiful ceremony that's going to take place tonight in this clearing. So as you sit and enjoy the space of the clearing, I want you to light up a fire in the clearing, in this fire pit. And as you light the fire, Feel yourself connect to the light energy that's part of you, that's within you. So you're actually lighting the fire with your light, right? So the, your inner fire, this flame that is within you, allow that to pour out of you as you ignite the wood and the pine cones and create these beautiful glowing embers in the, in the center of this beautiful meadow. And you can just start to bask in the warmth of that fire. Allow it to rinse over you, to wash out any stuck energy. Just feel that warmth, feel your connectedness to the light. And as you're just gazing into the fire, you can actually see a figure take form in the center of this fire. And this figure, it's, oof, it's a little dark, it's a little creepy. That's okay though, you're safe here. You're surrounded and protected in this meadow by these beautiful trees that are holding space. And allow this figure to take form in front of your eyes. It's okay, you're safe. 
And as this figure starts to become more in your awareness, it actually grows out of the fire. And this figure is gonna leap from the fire in front of you. And you can see this figure and it's spooky, but it's also strangely familiar. There's an aspect of this figure that you see in and of yourself because this figure is in fact a shadow version of yourself. So this figure might be carrying past stories, maybe something specific that happened to you in your childhood. You can see this figure actually embodied in kind of this dark, smoky form as a version of you, whether that's past, present, or future. Um, and there's some heaviness and darkness there, but also a lot of wisdom. And so as you're facing this shadow, lean into it. It's okay. You're safe here now, even if that's scary or uncomfortable, all is well. And just to take a moment to just gaze at the shadow, start to watch it move. How are the shadow's mannerisms? How does it move around the fire? How does it take up space? And as you connect and bring more awareness of this shadow, the shadow actually beckons you forward. It says, come with me. I want to invite you to dance. Again, it's okay. Trust the shadow. Know that the shadow has wisdom for you now. That's really important. And you're invited now to actually let the shadow lead you in a dance around the fire. And this dance might look like any sort of things. It could be a waltz or a swing, or maybe it's a line dance, or maybe it's a more freeform circle dance. So whatever the, the shadow and you are called to do as your dance together, just allow that to take form, but really allow your shadow to lead the dance. So you are following your shadow now. It's okay. You can actually have fun with it. Allow yourself to dance and to move and to fully feel the energy of the shadow. Let the shadow be in the lead and your guide through this process and dance. And as you start to move around the fire with your shadow, you can see the brightness of the full moon coming up over the horizon line. And it's actually starting to illuminate this beautiful clearing that you're dancing in with your shadow self. Around the fire, you can still feel the warmth. And as you start to dance more vigorously, perhaps you start to sweat or just you can feel like a shedding as you move your body. Um, and as this starts to happen, you're moving your body in sync and in harmony with the shadow. And you can see and feel that the shadow is starting to change form. Uh, the light is starting to pour through it and cracks are starting to happen. And the shadow itself is becoming illuminated. You can see it so clearly now. And you start to feel a sense of compassion for your shadow, for all of the stories and things that created this shadow. And you start to see it in the, mo the moonlight and firelight as something really quite beautiful and mysterious and intriguing and with deep wisdom. And all of a sudden, all of the fear melts away. And as you're doing this dance, with your shadow, you can just feel the warmth of the heart opening and just love pouring out love and compassion for this piece of yourself, for this shadow that you're dancing with now. And maybe there's even a sense of playfulness, of joy, of connectivity to an old friend that you've lost touch with or have felt disconnected with or have maybe even passed away in a dark way or a negative way because you didn't want to deal with that person or those energies or the aspect of your shadow self that you're seeing now. But welcome that back in. Allow that to be part of your being, not in a heavy way, but as part of your story and of your wisdom. And as you start to integrate more, the lines between you and your shadow become more blurred. And there's still this illumination that's happening from the fire and the moonlight you start to dance and integrate the shadow back into you. And what's beautiful now is you can just continue to feel that fire and the brightness of the full moon pouring out through you. And it's just washing away any aspects of the shadow that you no longer wish to carry, right? So there's this, this place of peace and compassion and forgiveness and love. And love transforms all. 
So any of the darkness or fear that was around that shadow is no more. It's simply an awareness that this is part of where you've come from and of who you are and of your story and just allowing yourself to be fully intertwined with that aspect of you now, with that shadow and just in the fluidity of that dance. And you can continue to dance. You're alone now in a sense because this shadow has been integrated within you and simultaneously been illuminated in the light. So from darkness, the light is birth and born and you can feel that as part of you now. There's just a sense of peace and playfulness and releasing and letting go of the darkness of that shadow and at the same time an integration of the wisdom. So as you continue to dance now, just allow the wisdom from this greater awareness of this shadow aspect of yourself to plant a seed within you and have that wisdom help to carry you forward so when new experiences happen and new moments happen that might have formerly been triggered by that shadow or brought fear, now you can just embrace them with more joy and ease and having this shadow now in your toolkit to help guide you and to carry the wisdom of that past experience with you moving forward so you can operate as your highest and best self. <sighs> Yeah, so just allow yourself to finish your dance around the fire. Dance in joy for the beauty and power of transformation happening now. Dance for the beauty and power of the light from the fire, the fire within, as well as the beautiful light of the moonlight bathing you and basking you. Dance for the beautiful trees and the life and the ancestors and the wisdom and this clearing and this beautiful open space. Dance for the stars above and for the earth below. Dance for all and dance for your shadow, for your past, for the darkness. Dance in joy that we have this experience as humans to be able to be connected between the light and the dark and to walk in the space between. Just allow yourself to finish your dance. Put your hands on your heart or your hands in prayer. Just give thanks for this beautiful moment in time, this opportunity for compassion and love and integration. You can feel yourself coming back into your body now, your body in this present moment, time and space, wherever you started this meditation today. With so much gratitude for this beautiful, powerful experience. Whenever you're ready, you can open your eyes. Ah, thank you for joining me on that beautiful journey. I hope you're able to feel the power and peace that comes when we allow ourselves to tune in to both the darkness and the light, the both the darkness and the night, light around us, but also within us, and give ourselves permission to be safe to see that for that which it truly is and to work with that and to cultivate more power and strength and awareness. So I hope you continue to have beautiful um, full moon cycle as we move into the end of the summer months. And we are also in Mercury retrograde, which people make a big deal about, but really it's just an opportunity to check in with ourselves, to check in with how we speak and communicate in the world and to cultivate more awareness around ways that we might be able to improve that communication and also just patience, right? And allowing ourselves to be in synchronicity with the ebbs and flows of the different energies of life. So with all that in mind, thanks again for joining me. This is Catherine with Vivacious Dish, and I wish you well.